Howdy, neighbors. <clears throat> Long time no talk. Well, we're up here in Kingman. And it's been okay, but we've had quite a bit of rain. Uh, not rain. We did have a couple of days of rain, but high winds. Today's going to be another windy day. Temps, temps have been really reasonable. I think it was, in, uh, let's see what I see, 45 this morning. I've been getting at least two to three mice out of Vicky's rig. I use a snap trap, just put some peanut butter in it. And I get easily one or two a day with that one. Then the other thing I do is I got a five gallon bucket with a thing full of water and then um, peanut butter on it and all I do is put a little peanut butter on the tire and a little peanut butter on the edge of the bucket and zoop thump. and I usually get one to two a day out of that um, I've been dealing with my back I had a couple ribs go out I must have slept wrong and it's taken at least a week for them to work themselves back into place. I guess I need to go find a chiropractor in the Kingman area here and uh, go to a chiropractor, find somebody that actually is reliable. Oh, here comes the wind. A lot of little flowers out here. more birds I've also seen um, bunny rabbits and jack rabbits and uh, they look like chipmunks but I only saw one from a distance running so it could have been a small ground squirrel or whatever they are oh, that's, the wind must be coming out of the west can't get out of there get out of the wind so I really you know with my back the way it is haven't been doing much just you know the day to day living stuff go to town get supplies get rid of the garbage get more water you know just the usual stuff Still not sure what we're doing. Still kind of looking for property. Um, yeah, I know that Williams area, they've been still getting snow and it's still really, really cold. So that's kind of a, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> it's too early been doing a lot of cooking on the solar oven because even if it's windy I uh, am able to cook in it no problem shoot I do so much I don't even remember been keeping these open so the mice don't get in there they do crawl around but they're basically up under the bus on top of the the uh, compartments here these are totally steel boxes so they're enclosed so they can't get in there's no holes that, through the bus that they can get up and into the, the main part of the bus except by the front but been pretty lucky oh there's a cow let's see if I can zoom in I'm looking right over there someplace. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's just facing away from us. There's a small herd of cows that have been roaming around out here. 
That's the solar oven doing. I just put this out about 10, 15 minutes ago, and I, I don't even aim it at the sun, but it's what, about 180. There's a guy that texted me, he wants to stop and talk about the solar ovens. So hopefully we'll get together and yeah, we, I mean, I cook so much stuff in there. I did a, another thing of orange chicken the other day. I did, uh, oh, what was it? Shrimp scampi or shrimp linguine or something like that <laughs> the other day. Uh, we do hot dogs. I did, I've uh, been doing biscuits and cinnamon rolls, you know, all the usual stuff that you cook. Um, yeah. I did a couple of uh, acorn squash one day. It's just, you know, I put it out and it stays out all day. So whenever you get the urge to cook something, you just throw it in the oven. I was finally able to pick up a bunch more pans for it. Those aluminum bread pans that I use, they get hard to find some places. You can see all these little flowers. Anyway, <clears throat> one of the dollar stores I was... I stopped in, and believe me, I stopped at a lot of them, whatever they are, Dollar General, Dollar Store, Family Dollar. Uh, we charge more than a dollar. Who knows? Um, had 18 of them, and they're 18 three-packs. There's three, three for a buck. So I got, what's that, 54? So it should be a while before I use them all up. Plus I had probably 10 or 15 still. I'm hoping to get at least some of the trim, the, the spots that I've missed painted here shortly. But like I said, I've been dealing with my back, stuff like this. You know that I missed, and all the edges are right there around the door, the door handles, and uh, little spots like that. I got to get the brush out, but I want to get that stuff done all around back here. I've been looking at um, brackets so I can put some brackets up right there and get the um, outside part of the mini split mounted. Now this side here, so I got a lot of hand painting to get done. Again, around the door latches and and then little spots. That light's got to go, so I'll pull it out, replace it, and paint all along here. And then Colleen was giving me a bunch of grief because of all around here that needs to get done. <laughs> There's Mike, Mike, Mike's rig. Yeah, let's see, inside's about the same. I guess that's about it for now. You know, when I'm not really doing anything. I threw my fire ring out of the van so I'd have more room. I didn't take it apart the last time, but we can't have any fires, you know, because it's getting a little late or early, whatever, in the fire season. So we worry about stuff like that hardcore. 
All right. I suppose that's enough for now. Oh, I stuck my uh, shepherd hooks out, and I haven't put any bird feeders on them because we've had such high wind. If I'd had a hummingbird feeder on it, it would have emptied the hummingbird feeder out, whipping it around. Okay. Just wanted to check in and let you all know we're still out and about. Just, you know, got nothing really to say. <laughs> and when you got a bunch of owies like I do, it makes it even harder to want to say anything. So I guess I'll uh, say I uh, hope you all have a good day and play.